Hello all and welcome again to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to install a SEO panel script. First of all, don't forget to uh, visit us on zpanelcp.com and most of all, come into our forum and just log in, come to our general chat and if you got any questions, please just frame it up. Next, don't forget to come to our YouTube channel, youtube.com man goldwin. Uh, and don't forget, please subscribe and I can make more videos like that. You see, the more you come and visit me, the more videos I can do it. Now, let's start. If you go to salepanel.in and download the latest version, I think it's 331 or uh, 330. Uh, and I'm going to choose one of those two here doesn't matter which one you could choose really download and save it your desktop go to save it now I think I already saved it I got it on my desktop I usually do that just to make a little bit faster so here we go uh, I extracted the content of the zip file to my desktop and now I'm going to upload it to a folder I'm going to use the FileZilla FTP program I log in and I'm going to use agserver.tk this is the content and I'm going to upload the entire folder as I don't want it to be in the root so I can put something else there but again, you can put in the root of the domain name, that's up to you. There we go, that's done now. And let's go back to the uh, control panel. I thought I had another one open, but now I'm going to open another one and I'm going to the Z panel X control panel so I can start the installation. Here we go. Scroll down. I'm going to click the domain, and logically it's not in the root, so I'm going to rename that, and I'm going to put cell panel. Press enter. Everything looks alright, I think. There we go. I'll be showing you that uh, is in the folder. I proceed to the next step. Now we're going to create the MySQL database and the user. There we go. And I'm going to call it Sale Panel. And I click Create. And now we're going to create the user. And I'm also going to call it Sale Panel. And I'm going to choose the uh, the database I'm going to map it and go and press create now everything is done I'm going to copy the password as usual and there we go we start the installation here now I'm going to call the database name I think is Z admin underscore uh, cell panel the database username is Cell panel and the password is the one I just copied. And I'm going to insert my email address. And I'm going to press proceed to the next step. Now we need to change the information of the file. To make sure that there be no secure issues and this is your login and the password it's advisable once you start you can need to change it to a new password otherwise everybody can get inside and don't forget to remove the installation folder that's the f something I'm going to do now I'm going to uh, back to the FTP program highlight the install folder there we go and press delete and that's it 
What's that? I'm going to change the permission of the file. That's the file there. In the config folder, change the permission. And I'm remove the right. And that's it. Now any comment you have, if you think that you know you can do better, please come in our forum log in our chat and tell me what's wrong if I do anything wrong or if I do anything right you like it if you want more videos again just come over and talk to us now the next step here as you can see the installation has been done everything works fine don't forget to change your password this is very very important from here you can do a lot of things you can actually uh, you can use a multiple you know website and you can run your own sale system now don't forget to come to our youtube channel and subscribe thank you very much indeed and i'll see you next time